He bawled. <laughs> the dogs have totally wised up to this now. Every morning we get up, the dogs are handing each other birthday cards and looking at us. <laughs> anyway, so I, I left him. I said, hey, Kathleen, don't forget it's Penrod's birthday, his 15th birthday. And um, I got a message back from her that night. And it just said, well, that explains the big party in the backyard. <laughs> The tent, the cake, the band, the headless mice. And I loved that whole thing, except for the mice being headless. I felt they would have been guests at the party. And the next day was the first of a few days off, and I was headed down to do some shows in the San Francisco area and going to stay with some very good friends in Petaluma. And so I had before me that beautiful, beautiful drive from Eugene down to Petaluma. I'm sure many of you have taken it, and, you know, it's just so beautiful. And I was in a great mood, very happy to have that drive and gone to see my good friends. And Shocked, I must tell you, truly shocked. find myself writing the following little number on that drive. <laughs> <laughs> They heard such fuss and hustled out to party town. The little birds tap danced all around the ants, moving in a conga line. Weasel band played, ladybugs made, crocus and azalea wine. On my cat's birthday, the birthday cake was several stories high. Cats ate down along the ground, birds ate in the sky. Oh, and the squirrels ate too from the edge of the roof until they finally jumped right in. But the band played on till the cake was gone, we'll never see another again. The cat came in and all went south. Where did that goldfinch get that mouth? Dogs sprouted over Thank you.